Hey everyone, Marike Blokland here from Blokland.nl and in this video I'm going to show you how I decorate this thrift store vase. Go! Go. Hey, Marike Blokland here from Blokland.nl. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I bought it for 2 euro at a thrift store. It's pretty big and sturdy. And the, the inside is a bit dirty, <laughs> but uh, I think someone kept, uh, kept a plant in it or something. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to decorate this for my new home. I'm first going to add a layer of white gesso on it. I cleaned it very well and it's going to be like an art item in my new home. Um, I think that there are so many uh, objects mass made objects in this world by big stores and um, well there are so many thrift store finds or objects in your house that you can easily redecorate yourself and give it a nice makeover that is really in your style and that way you can make uh, unique art pieces for your home and um, yeah, you can show yourself in your own home and uh, I think that's more fun than all those <laughs> mass made items out there. So in this video is uh, to inspire you to redecorate uh, thrift store finds. I want this face to be um, grey and black. I have a color by Paper RC here called uh, Concrete. It is a chalk acrylic and I um, wasn't really kind to this bottle so it was uh, dried in already so I cut it open. I'm going to use what is left of this paint on this face and I really like this light grey color. I think I'm going to leave this face really simple with grey and black. Funny, I've now made six. Oh, sorry, <laughs> put the brush in my mouth. Six tries. <laughs> yeah. I tend to put this brush in my mouth um, because it's so long, and uh, I don't want to make budges on the table. <laughs> anyway, um, I made six stripes now, and while I was making it, I thought it looked a bit like barbed wire, and I thought that was actually cooler than just making stripes so I looked uh, on the internet for barbed wire patterns and I'm thinking of um, not not making it entirely like barbed wire but here and there add a tiny element that looks a bit like it so that the face becomes like a little bit of a political statement not that it's a polit political statement to create barbed wire but it's always a really um, strong image and I always like to use that kind of graphical things that are really powerful and I thought that the face would get a little bit more character than making only black and white stripes. Okay I finished making the stripes I really like that it, they are so irregular and I also made some drippings by accident and I actually I think that's okay um, so I'm adding some barbed wire accents now here and there.
that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. You rock. <laughs> Please support me by liking this video and subscribe for more quirky art inspiration and raw self-expression. Ciao!